Mm-hmm. Uh, what's you know, how do you deal with that going into the season? Deal with those expectations as a team? Um, well, you know, it's not really anything different than than what we already have for, set for ourselves. You know, our expectations um, are higher than any expectations that anybody else gives us. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things where we just stay focused and try to take everything one step at a time. You know, we, we've always been a, a team that focused on um, the bigger picture while taking care of the small things. So, you know, it's, it's um, you know, about taking it one step at a time, not really worrying about the expectations, just kind of letting things happen. Okay. You're on the offensive side of the ball? No, defense. defense side. What's, uh, what's kind of the the mindset of the defense, the scheme, you know, what you guys are, are trying to do this year? Are you are really tightening up on the pass game, the run game? Where's uh, – what do you think your focus is? Right uh, well, we always focus on stopping the run. You know, that's that's if you if you're playing defense and you can't stop the run, then you're gonna be in trouble. Um, so that's always a big focus for us, stopping the run. And then, um, you know, we we want to be a fast defense, a defense that can run and really get chase the ball. You know, because that's when you get a chance to make big plays, get turnovers and and things like that, chasing the ball. So um, that's that's kind of what we focus on. Definitely stopping the run and then. Uh, being one of the best conditions and the fastest uh, defense is just you know being able to be to get around and get to the ball. Heading into you know a season like this where there's a chance that you guys you know, y'all are the front runner in the Sun Belt. Mm-hmm. Um, when you look at your schedule, obviously it's one game at a time. But when you look at your schedule, is there any team that stand out that this is going to be a dog fight that we're going to need to win? Uh, I mean, well, you know, Georgia Southern every year is is one of those games where it's going we know it's going to be a dog fight. Uh, Louisiana Lafayette. Um, you know, those, those games, Troy is a big-time game for us because, uh, you know, we've kind of been going back and forth with Troy uh, the past couple of years that we've been uh, in the Sun Belt. You know, every game is, is, is a game, you know, in this league it's so competitive. Every game is a game where it's, it, it could be a dog fight. But like I said, a couple of those, you know, Georgia Southern is going to be a dog fight regardless every year. Um, you know, even if it's a blowout game, it's still going to be a dog fight. That that's the type of atmosphere that it is between Georgia Southern and App State. Um, and then, you know, you, we, when you talk about the other competitive, the teams that have been competitive in this conference for a long time before we got here, um, you know, Lafayette, uh, Troy, you know, those type of teams, they're going to come out and give and give their best regardless. Right. Um, defense brings back a good number of players, but you lose uh, even the men, uh, Ronald Blair. That's a pretty big loss. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, when you lose a guy like Ronald Blair, it's not going to be one guy that comes in and, 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 and kind of takes over that spot because he was such a good player. He did so much for us, um, not only on the defensive side of the ball, but just all, uh, you know, being a leader in the whole team aspect of it. But, um, you know, we got guys that are stepping up, younger guys that were kind of learning from him last year, learning how he did things last year. And, um, you know, we, we feel like the young guys that we have are going to step up and, and really play, but we know it's going to be more than one guy. We can't ask one guy to come in and take over the, the defensive player of the year last year to fill his spot and, you know, come in and, and, and make the plays that he made or do the things that he did for us. But we, we expect guys to come in and, and hold their own and, you know, do, do what they're supposed to do for the defense. Uh, no, not any extra pressure because I know at the end of the day it's just a, a preseason nomination. You know, it's it's one of those things where my four years of work and, and all the hard work that I put in is being noticed, and I appreciate that. I'm truly honored to have that. But at the end of the day, I know that it's just something that's a nomination, you know, preseason. Um, and I know that I have a lot of football left to play and a lot of things that I have to do in, actu- uh, in order to actually win that award. You talk about putting in those four years of hard work. A lot of guys on uh, this year's team were – going through the pains of you know, coming up to FBS, mm-hmm. trying to prove yourselves. This year, uh, one of the favorites to win the conference. What is, what's the transition been like? What's the mindset now compared to maybe two years ago? Uh, well, two years ago, it was kind of filling it out, trying to figure out exactly what was going to be expected of us and, and what we were kind of coming into. You know, we had never uh, – a lot of guys had never been in that type of atmosphere as far as moving up to the um, the div- Division One level, you know, and just – in the – type of competition that we're playing against and going to some of the places that we're going, kind of some of the traveling, everything was kind of local when we were in uh, the Southern Conference. Now we take a few more flights and, and that type of thing. So it was just a filling out process. Um, I wouldn't say we were overwhelmed, but we were definitely trying to figure out what, what we were doing like two years ago. Now we kind of got a system in place. Everything's kind of set up and um, we, we kind of stick to that uh, as far as day-to-day operations as, and as well as, um, you know, traveling and competing in the conference. Talk about Georgia Southern, how that's always a dogfight of the game. 
how is it, you know, being in a conference now where, if not rivals, every single week is more of that intensity, whereas, you know, when you first come to Appalachian State, it might have been just the George Southern. Yeah, it, it definitely makes that game a little bit more special because that's a game that, you know, Georgia Southern was a game that was a dog fight from 2012 when I got here. You know, it's always been a dog fight. And, you know, playing playing against Georgia Southern as well as the rest of the competition in the Sun Belt, it, it kind of steps up your level of intensity. You know, as a player, it makes you go harder because you know that um, the competition is better. You know that everybody is out here giving their all. Um, and then, like I said, you know, going to play against a team like Troy, who's going to give you everything they got, is the equivalent of a Georgia Southern game to us because, um, you know, every time we're going all out versus Georgia Southern, no matter when we play. So it's, it's a thing that keeps you on your toes every week. Uh, I wouldn't say watered down. Winning the conference would be winning the conference because, I mean, I look at it as we have goals and we have stuff that we have to accomplish, and one of those things would be to beat every team we play. So just because Arkansas State's not on the schedule or we don't play them this year, it doesn't – I wouldn't feel any uh, – I wouldn't say watered down. Or I wouldn't feel any less about a conference championship if we won one this year the same way I, I don't think they would if, if they – won the conference championship and they didn't have to play us. Now I would definitely want to play them. You know, we we split split the series. We won one at their place. They came and won one in our place last year. But um, so I would definitely want to play them again. But like I wouldn't I wouldn't say watered down or anything like that. How important are the, the two giant tackle to you open to play? Uh, they're very important. They do a, a good job. The guys we got Tyson Fernandez, Darian Smalls, those. They're, they're really heavy in there, and they, they're guys that have a lot of experience. They've been playing with me for years, so, uh, you know, and came in the same class with me, so we have a connection. It's, they understand me, I understand them, but um, they're tremendously important, you know, because without them, I can't get anything done. If the guards are coming up, if the center, if the, the offensive linemen are making it up to the next level, then it's, it's going to be harder for me to uh, do what I have to do and get, get to tackles, make plays, which is what the defense is relying on me to do for us to be successful. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, our defensive line, we have tremendous coaching and we have a lot of depth in the defensive line as far as guys who can come in, especially pass rushers. We have a lot of good pass rushers. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's not it's not one of those things where we can just replace a Ronald Blair with just one guy. So it's a lot of guys that are coming in that we're expecting to step up and really help us in the pass rush as well as run, uh, stopping the run. Oh man, we got a few of those. Uh, uh, I would probably have to say uh, Bill Cecil. Uh, he's a guy who's from uh, the Asheville area, which is kind of up there in North Carolina, uh, not too far from Boone. But he's just, to me, he's uh, him and uh, Levi Duffield. They're they're kind of homegrown kids. You know what I mean? They 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 understand Boone. They understand the mountain. They've been around that area for a while. So. Um, as far as a Mountaineer, I couldn't think of any guys more perfect than those two. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Uh, I mean, like I said, it shows that our hard work is, is going noticed. Um, you know, we that that's a goal that we wanted for ourselves. You know, we might not necessarily have wanted to. Uh, to be publicized or anything like that, but we always felt like uh, we should be one of the top teams in the conference every year. We should be competing for it, if not the top team in the conference every year. So, I mean, it's 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 a not really more pressure, but it's kind of one of those eye-opening things like, hey, you know, you got to back up, you know, what everybody's expecting from us. And from the personal, right? You were named the defensive the year. Uh, well, you know, I set pretty high expectations for myself, um, and I feel like my expectations are higher than anybody's expectations that they have for me. So, you know, the, with the preseason defensive player of the year, it's one of those things where uh, I dreamed of, of being that. I dreamed of, of accomplishing that, but I also dream of winning it. You know what I mean? So I know that there are other things that I have to do, and I know that there's a long season. You've got games to win, got games to play. You know, I have stuff to do before that. I can't start looking at it, you know, just because um, preseason, you know, I was awarded in the preseason. I want to have it at the end of the year. And this is a conference that has a lot of really talented running backs. In particular, you know, a 
Elijah McGuire, a guy you mm -hmm. face now. Um, what, what's it like facing guys with that kind of talent level? I'm sure it makes you raise your level as well. Uh, it definitely makes me raise my level. Um, you know, he's a guy that I saw him playing uh, when we played Lafayette our first time in the Sun Belt. Uh, we played against Lafayette, went down there to their place, and uh, he was he wasn't the starter then. He was uh, coming in, you know, getting they had plays set up for him. They were trying to find ways to get him the ball. I guess he was younger then, but you know, just seeing him mature and seeing him grow, he you know it's it's always competitive. You know, you always have to be on my A game, knowing going out there playing against a back like that because one missed tackle, one slip up, and he could go the distance. He could take it the whole way. But you know, it's a lot of guys in the conference that are like that. It's just knowing that you always have to be on your A game, no matter who you're playing. No problem. Thank you.